morning. Johnny Walker here. How's it going out there? Hope everyone's doing fine for their last, that's the last day of May today, I think. Let me just check my old calendar here. Wow, man, the spring is just flying by. Yeah, what do we got here? Uh, geez, yeah. Today's the last day of May. Can you believe June's coming already? And it's like, May's been a, a really crappy month here. So much rain and it may rain, it may snow, it may thunder, it may do everything. And then it has. It's been a crummy month. People's trying to plant their gardens. They're like, you know, usually you do it on the May long weekend, which was late last weekend. But people are probably aren't going to be planting their gardens till this weekend or a week from now. You know, then the next week after that, I believe is the beginning of summer, right? So yeah, yesterday I did a little video testing a buddy's uh, little 550 Mark II. And, uh, you know, there's been some issues with them all over North America and the world, but ones I've done, I've, I've been pretty successful with running wise, but we've had a few issues with the seals leaking, like I told you before. So hopefully they'll get that fixed up soon. And the uh, cage is breaking in the bearings. It's funny, you know, these old McCullough saws like 101s and 125s, didn't even use cages in the bearings. It's just all bearings. And you know what my dad was telling me? You never really had any of these fail. The bearing would get loose in the case and start wobbling, but we never had any really bearing failures. Maybe that's what they need to design. A cageless bearing again. Who made these? Let's see who made these. Uh, maybe in TN. And I don't know. There's no name on them. Probably was on there, but it's wore off. These are pretty old. But anyways, yeah. Then it was funny on the way here today, um, up to my porting room here. I seen uh, Gordy did a video from West Coast Saw. <laughs> Hi, Gordy. I know he watches all my videos. Him and his wife. And I was going to do a couple of videos uh, with them together here one day, possibly. But that's in the works. He uh, talked about his side cover that he makes, which is beautiful. The Fit the 462 and the um 500i and he also makes some for the 066s and 461s but on, on his cover this isn't his cover but this is a husqvarna cover but see how the nuts and bolts hold the dog on so you want you want to make sure you put on the gordy's covers which i was going to do a video on gordy but he just beat me to it you put the bolts inwards with the nut on the outside not the bolt this way going in because then your chain won't slide. I had a few customers my customers of mine call me. One fellow from New York, he's like, I can't get that chain to spin. I'm like, well, maybe you didn't push the white plastic down enough. And I think what it was is he had it around backwards too. And I've had two or three other guys do the same thing. So just watch what you're doing with them. And it works fine. Thanks, Gordy, you make beautiful stuff. Still dialing in my, uh, for the 592. I got it here with a uh, dial indicator, three wheel, um, there has been a few issues with those, these. If anyone's had issues with them, give me a comment or send me a message about them. I, I want to know so I can talk to the Husqvarna reps about it. I've been dealing with uh, an engineer from Husqvarna on this model. We actually haven't even sold one of these yet. We sold a 585, but I'm just watching what's going on with them all over the place. So I'm ready to uh, fix them or get them into the warranty department at Husqvarna so they can fix their problems before it gets uh, out of hand. I think a lot of them are working real good. Don't get me wrong, but uh, you know, there has been some issues. Just had some more 7310 Echoes turned down on my friend's lathe. Uh, I have a machine shop that does it for me. I got a jig gear that I made. So he chucks it in there and he takes some material off the bottom for me. Building a few more of those and my test one out in the bush is working really well. Sorry I haven't gone out there yet to show you guys uh, it working, but I will hopefully after this weekend, after I go to a logger show, a logger sports show up in Port McNeil with my dad and some friends. So yeah, I'm going to get on to the, the 592s. I was hoping of having one with a pipe to run at the logger show this weekend, but it hasn't worked out. Uh, and it might even rain, so it might not be that much fun in the rain up there. But I'm going anyways. It's kind of like a little couple day holiday for me. So yeah, then my Mac, myself, that I want to run up there, I've had some issues with, but I'm going to go up tonight to my dad's place, I'm going to change the coil, and then change the condenser. There's something wrong with it. One minute it starts, the next minute it doesn't, and it's been acting kind of weird. The thing's brand new. 
but you gotta remember these coils are 40 years old. They could have moisture inside them. So, you know, I'm just gonna try a couple other ones to see if I can get it going right. I really wanna run it up there this weekend with my dad with his old one too. Or I'll just run my dad's. Um, he hasn't been feeling very good. Um, so maybe I'll just run his. Um, see how it goes. You never know. Lots of porting to do. I got uh, a nice 357 I'm doing for John Power. A couple 461s for a couple of friends of mine, Wade and another fellow, Turbo Falling, and uh, I think it's Black Mountain, uh, an old school 036, 372 X Torx, a couple 462s, and these Echoes, and many more. I want to get back to the shop and tear them apart and bring them up here. So, yeah, uh, that's what I've been doing. Been busy. Uh, haven't heard from Tin Man for a while. I, I got to give him a call and see how he's doing out there in Manitoba. Unfortunately, he never did make it out this way, which I was telling you guys before about that. And I'm gonna get out to Buck and Billy Ray's and uh, help him with a couple things uh, next week after I get back on the weekend. So yeah, that's what I'm up to. Work, 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 eh? You know, but uh, summer's coming. Uh, I'm gonna get out and do a little bit of camping and stuff and a little kayaking, fishing. Might even go fishing on Sunday on my way home to go to this uh, really nice lake I know about up by Wasp, BC on the island here. Great trout fishing there. Me and my buddy Doug Edwards and my brother Johnny. And we've all been there. And Taylor's been there too, my daughter. And we always catch a nice big trout there. So and a lot of, not a lot of people know about this lake. We call it Zipper Mouth Lake. You know what that means, eh? Keep your mouth shut. Don't tell people. <laughs> Anyways, okay, I'm gonna get back to the other shop and um, gather up a few things here and get some more uh, fine saws out for you folks. So keep your saw into it, stick in the ice, rubber on the road. Enjoy the rest the last few days or last couple of weeks of spring. Hopefully the weather gets better so we can all get out and have some fun and get those gardens planted and the lawns cut like you seen the other day, me using that big brush or grass cutter, eh? I've got her done though. Oh, wow, that was a hard job three or four hours it took me on my day off i need to get a goat like a couple people commented or a cow eh? anyways have a great week donnie walker out